So in this equation, we have a combination reaction. We have NO plus O2, and those combine, and they form NO2. Let's go ahead and balance it. We'll count the atoms up on each side of the equation. We have one nitrogen, and then we have one oxygen. Don't forget, we also have these two oxygens here. That gives us three oxygens on the reactant side. Over on the products, we have one nitrogen and two oxygens. Whenever I have an odd number, I like to make that even, so that'll make the balancing a lot easier for us. And to do that, I could put a 2 in front of the NO. That would mean I have 1 times 2 for the N, so that would change the N. But I then would have the oxygens as an even number. So let's update those. I have 1 times 2 plus 2. That gives me 4 oxygens, and that's going to be easier to deal with. Over on the product side, let's just put a 2 in front of the NO2 because that'll fix the N, and it might fix the oxygens as well. So I have 1 times 2. That gives me 2. My nitrogens are balanced. And 2 times 2 for the oxygens. That gives me 4. And we've balanced this equation. The trick here, if you have an odd number of oxygens starting out, try to get that to an even number, and that'll make the equation a lot easier to balance. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for NO plus O2 yields NO2. And thanks for watching.